Hey guys, so this year I started streaming on Twitch for the first time ever, and it's been really fun. I'm a long time gamer, I had an NES and everything from Nintendo 64 to PlayStation 4. But now I have Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, and these are great machines, so I thought it would be a great chance to get into streaming and knock that off my bucket list. But I started off not knowing anything about streaming. I didn't know what hardware to get, I didn't know what software to use, so I googled everything and YouTubed everything, and by the time I thought I had everything figured out, I turned on my Xbox Series X, tried to stream Halo Infinite, and three seconds after turning it on, my screen went black. So I tried a different game, and the same thing happened. The screen went black. And I couldn't find a solution. I tried Googling everything again, and tried YouTubing everything again, and there's next to nothing about this one single problem. Of course, when you get a black screen when you're trying to game, there could be a lot of different issues. It could be wiring, it could be the capture card, it could be a different combination of different things. So this might not be your solution, but it's one thing to try if you are having trouble. So after figuring out my problem, I thought I would make this video to walk you through my issue and how I figured it out. Before we hop into that, I want to walk you through the hardware I have and the things I'm using. In terms of my hardware, I'm using an Elgato HC60 Plus for my capture card and an Xbox Series X for my gaming. And that's connected through a 2021 MacBook Pro M1 Pro to run OBS. Okay, let's take a look. Hey guys, so now I'm on with my Xbox Series X and I'm connected to my MacBook Pro using OBS. Um, but I wanted to show you real quick what my issue was when I first started streaming. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select Halo Infinite. And the loading screen pops up and a few seconds later, black screen. Um, so even in this state as it is right now, if I press a home button on the controller, nothing pops up. So honestly, the quickest thing to do is just turn off the console. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna wait a few seconds and let it turn back on. Okay, so now we're back on and I'm gonna show you what I did to correct that black screen. So you're going to go into settings and you're gonna go to TV and display options. Now that we're there, we're gonna move over to the right to the advanced category and select video modes. Once we're there, we're gonna go all the way down in the left column to allow YCC 422. So we're gonna uncheck that. Screen's gonna go black for a second and come back on. So now YCC 422 is a little complicated to explain, but you would turn it on in most cases when your TV doesn't have HDMI 2.1 ports. You can look into it a little bit more to see if having it off is better for your quality in the long term. Uh, but since turning it off in my current with my current setup, I haven't seen any problems with it. I haven't had any drops in quality. I've been able to stream perfectly fine. So uh, this is something to look into. There's a great article from TFT Central that I'll leave in the description below um, if you want to know more about what YCC422 does. Um, but let's go back and try out Halo. Now that we turned it off, And you see it's loading. So it picks up right where we left off. And there we go. So we're in. So there you have it. So that's one solution for a black screen problem when you're trying to stream. Um, of course, there's many different things that can cause a black screen. But this is just one of a few answers that might help you out. So thank you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit like. Um, subscribe if you like. Um, but I hope uh, this video is helpful for you and um, happy streaming.